Okay, rock sliders. I just got the Vortex 10x42 Vipers HDs. They're a nice little binocular. You can see they uh, have a nice size to them, fit in your hand really well. And um, I'm running a resolving power test on them. I put them up against, I don't have a 10 power binocular to put them against, so I had to put them against my Swarovski 8x42 EL ranges. They're up there because they have 25% less power. So I've separated the distance by 25%. They're at 50. These Vortexes are at 60. I, I know it's not that scientific, but the Vortex would um, have an unfair advantage if they were at the same yardage because it has two more power. So I've got my resolving power chart down there. And um, let me grab my notes here. It's partly cloudy here. It's about seven o'clock. Sun doesn't go down until uh, 912 so I've got full light out here and um, I was able to resolve with the Vipers uh, group negative 2 element 5 and with the Swaros same group negative 2 but I was able to resolve uh, element 6 so I was able to resolve one more element with the uh, Swarovskis versus these little ELs but I'll tell you what that's not much and uh, they've got good clarity good field of view um, the edge to edge is uh, not as good as the Swaros um, I, if I put a straight line on the edge on both of them the Swaro I can maintain it clear to the edge there's it gets a little blurry for the uh, Vipers but look it up the price point is hugely difference uh, so you're not um, giving up a lot and you're saving a lot of money with them these binoculars I'm going to do a uh, twilight test on them tonight and as long as it doesn't rain on us here and um, I'll test the two against each other they look nice and bright now but we'll see as it starts getting dark I'll put that in this video too these binoculars are then going to be heading to um, to one of our riders, uh, Glendon Mullins. He uh, lives in West Virginia, but he's coming out to Montana this year to do his first Western elk hunt. So I'm gonna set him up with these. It'd be a good binocular for a guy just learning to Western hunt and, and even beyond that. And then we'll also be testing the uh, Viper uh, 20 to 60 by 85 spotter too, and he's gonna be running that one. So if you're interested in any of that, uh, follow this thread. Uh, Glendon will uh, will post on here or he'll put a link on here to when he starts using them and giving you feedback on those.